Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm All Things Wrestling, and today I'm going to be reviewing WWE Raw, 17th of June 2019. Yes, I'm going to try this in a non face cam version to see if people like this better. But anyway, they're from Los Angeles, California, and yes, the heels make a lot of references, especially to their baseball team, I think it is, because they didn't win or something like that. I don't know, I'm not American. But anyway, we start with Elias in the ring. Uh, he trashes LA and then says Baron Corbin has chose him to be the special guest referee for Sunday Seth Rollins comes down and beats the hell out of him with a chair and then Seth's like I'm done playing games it doesn't matter what Baron Corbin has offered you I will be beating the hell out of you this is your first and last warning uh, Miz makes his way to the ring and gives Elias a score cushion finale. Then Bobby Lashley hits a spear. Cesaro with a giant swing. Ricochet with a face bust. And Braun Strowman with a power slam. Because that sets up to have a five way elimination match for the number one contender for the US Championship. Uh, first off, the Elias and Seth Rollins segment was okay. 7 out of 10. Beat down to Elias after was quite funny. Still going to go in the original 7 out of 10. The match starts. Uh, Strowman was getting uh, beaten down a little bit and then by Cesaro who manages to like pick him up uh, and then Strowman with a power slam to Lashley onto Cesaro pin Cesaro is eliminated Strowman with a boot to Miz but Lashley with a flat line to Strowman Lashley sets up for a suplex hits it Strowman with a power slam eliminates Lashley uh, after that, both Cesaro and Bobby Lashley go in the ring, beat up Strowman, uh, neutralizer to Strowman, Ricochet with a 630 splash to eliminate Strowman. Then Strowman launches Ricochet over the top, takes out Lashley, and then he chases down and beats up Cesaro next to the entrance uh, opening. Uh, and then we have just the Miz and Ricochet in there. Miz goes for a springboard move, Ricochet with a code breaker, goes up top, 6 to 8 splash for the win. Ricochet is now your new number one contender for the US Championship. Joe attacks Ricochet after, but then Ricochet drops down, Joe goes over the top rope, and then Ricochet dives onto Joe outside. Nice way to end it, because it shows that both Joe was getting a good beat down and then Ricochet outsmarted him, which is good because it made Ricochet look strong, but didn't make Joe look too dumb because he did kind of fly over the ropes and didn't get beaten down too much. The match, actually, I'm going to give a solid 3 out of 5. It was actually a pretty good Raw match, to be honest. Uh, beat down segment, eh, 5 out of 10. It was alright. Uh, then Becky Lynch makes her way to the ring. Uh, just talks down about Lacey, says she drones on and on. Why just... She, she talks about doing what she does to get ahead and curry favours. Why didn't she just kick her ass all over Los Angeles? Then Lacey comes down and says nobody cares. She says she doesn't understand her. The man can't comprehend. I'm the... What this women's division deserves because I'm a real lady and... Um, Becky gives Lacey an expl exploder and then security and then yeah that was kind of it uh, it was alright sorry it was just kind of a yeah, segment 6 out of 10 uh, then we see the revival and go into Shane's private party uh, Shane McIntyre and the revival are in there uh, then Corbin is being interviewed oh the yeah, I'm not going to give the Revival thing a rating. Not worth it. Uh, Baron's asked about special guest referee since Elias. No one wants it. He said he'll reveal it on the Kevin and Sammy show. He turns around Seth hits him with a chair. S Seth said he would offer Baron a seat, but he has more work to do. <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny. Uh, 5 out of 10. Uh, we then have Daniel Bryan out of make the way to the stage. Um, they said they're here to excite Raw and make it exciting. And they said that they are one of the best tag teams ever. And 
here is um, the Viking experience facing two local talents named Eric and Ivar. They hit Springboard Clothesline and then Viking Experience for the three count. Not going to rate it. I'm not going to lie. It's not worth it. It's a local talent match. Then we have two people in costume sitting in front row. It happens to be Carmella and um, our truth. They escape into the ringside area, go under the ring. Titus O'Neil is pulled from under the ring. Our truth and Carmella escape through the crowd. It was all right. Solid 6.5 out of 10. We then go to the Shane's crew party. He Slater enters. He says, uh, look, I'm, things are getting expensive. Can I have a raise? They, Shane and Dash, uh, Scott and Dash laugh. Shane's like, it takes a lot of balls to do that. He has kids too, but the answer is no. He said, because you have balls and you came and walked in like a man, you can walk out like a man. This is a close party. Shane tells Drew to handle things. He's on the phone with his wife. Drew's like, okay, we go way back. I'll, I'll sort you out. He's like, no, no, no. He's like, I'll do it. Drop some money. He picks it up. Drew takes the opportunity to hit him with a forearm and then smash his head into a wall a load of times and kick him in the head. And then the revival and Shane hold him back and then go back into the party. And then... Oh, Dash and Scott, don't forget the money, of course. You can't forget that. That whole segment was brilliant. 8 out of 10, I really liked it. He was being used, it was funny. Uh, then we have the Kevin Owens show. Uh, nothing really to talk about until they bring out EC3. Uh, and then EC3 immediately gets attacked by Seth Rollins. And then... Uh, new way do they make the way to the stage stand over C 3 for a moment of silence put something over the top of him Kevin's like get out of here you're not here you're not wild cards go away you're not in Vegas you're not wild card that's kind of the wild card rule is anyone can show up Sammy um, but okay can I just take a moment to reflect quickly on the, the use of EC3 here uh, they pick him up and then like we're going to make a match and then pick him up and shake him and then he they make him say, well, they talk and make it sound like he's saying yes to, for them to have a three on three match with Baron Corbin, Sammy, and um, Kevin. But okay, he got hit by a chair about five times. He was out for a solid three or four minutes. What is in these referee shirts to make people die so much from one little shot? It was funny. Um, but yeah, the overall, the segment was alright. I'm going to give it a solid seven out of ten. Then AJ Styles has been checked out. Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, who are doctors, come in. And then AJ's like, look, you kind of got complacent now. I want to see what you can actually do again. He misses them and he's like, okay, we're going to go out there against you. and we're going to see how serious we can be. Uh, then we go to Baron Corbin, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens versus The New Day in a two out of three falls match. Four for the first fall. Um... <coughs> Woods with punches to get close to the corner. He can't make a tag because he's being cornered. Roll up for a three count. Uh, and then the fall two. Uh, Owens push uh, pushes Corbin and Owens gets... Uh, and Owens with the super kick. Kevin and Sammy leave. Kofi with trouble in paradise to Baron Corbin. Three count. Okay, fair enough. The match was competent enough. I'm going to give it a solid two and a half out of, ten, out of five. It was a solid middling match. It was all right. It served its purpose. Then, Nikki Cross in the locker room. Alexa Bliss stops by with a gift, and she's like, "We're going to face Payne Royce and Nikki and uh, Billy Kay tonight for the women's tag team championships." And she's so ecstatic. It's like, okay, I'm trying to get this whole friendship thing between these two. It's a bit weird, but okay, we'll go. We'll roll with it. But overall, it was an alright segment. Four out of ten. Then Paul Heyman introduced himself, talks about the Lakers trading balls, and Seth Rollins traded his balls for a steel chair, and when's Brock Lesnar going to cash in? It could be tonight, maybe, maybe not, maybe Sunday, maybe next Monday, you won't know. Most importantly, the, the, for, the soon-to-be former Universal Champion, Seth Rollins, will not know. Uh, okay, alright, 5 out of 10. And then Baron Corbin is in the back. He's talking to Eric Young about being referee on Sunday. Eric said he'll th t think about it. Eric in the hallway sees Seth. Eric says, Seth, I'm turning down the offer. 
look, I just wanted to stop the conversation with Baron. So I was like, I understand we go way back. I'm not going to do anything to compromise. I know you won't do anything to compromise our friendship. And then he just whacks him in the back of the chair and hits him a few more times. Nice. 7 out of 10. Um, then we have the Usos versus the club. Uh, Jimmy tags in, double super kick, three count. And you just see AJ Styles really annoyed in the back. Um, the match, I'm not really going to give a rating. There weren't much to it, to be honest. Yeah. I don't know where they're digging the storyline, but we'll wait and see, to be honest. Uh, then we go straight to... Uh, oh, Roman goes and makes his way to the ring. Essentially just beats everybody up. Beats up the revival, Drew McIntyre, then beats up Shane. He's like, "Go and tell Drew I'm gonna whoop his ass on Sunday." Uh, it's a typical Roman promo. Five point five out of ten. It was all right. Uh, then we go to Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross versus Peyton Royce and Billy Kay for the women's titles. Uh, Billy with a roll up. Bailey pulls Alexa off the rape to prevent her to help her partner. Billy gets three count. They retain. After the match, Alexa explains to Nikki what happened. And Nikki's like, If it weren't for Bailey, we would be champions. I want to see you stomp the dreams of Bailey like she did to me tonight. I want to be in your corner on Sunday and watch you win the title. And that was alright. A solid 5 out of 10. Then we go to Firefly Funhouse. And oh my god. This week's episode was amazing. He was talking about gardening and warring things and then dragged on uh, parents telling you the world is round but they've never travelled around the world. D- teachers say dinosaurs exist but they don't know. And then he says, "You want to? All- I want you to all join me here where the fun never ends except to tell everyone tells you to join them from like Rambling Rabbit and all the pig and everything. Where he says, people worship what they fear. Fear is power. Follow the leader. And then we just see a load of let him in with the mask on. It was so damn good. That's going to get a solid 10 out of 10 for a segment. That was amazing. Uh, then Daniel Bryan's like... Without Seth Rollins, Seth Rollins is not a better wrestler than Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan... Uh, Daniel... Uh, Seth may be the beast slayer, but Seth has never beaten Daniel Bryan... The match starts. Uh, Rowan with a claw slam onto the apron. The referee calls for the bell. Disqualification. After the match, Rowan holds Rollins and Brian with a flying boot. New Day make their way to the ring. Trouble in paradise on Brian. The Usos get involved. The Revival. And Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn all get involved. The officials make their way to the ringside. It's basically a pandemonium. The match is restarted. No one's allowed at ringside. Uh, Rollins, um, oh, wait. Brian gets his knee up for a frog clash attempt. Right, Brian reapplied to a lapel lab- lock. Rollins counters for a near fall. Rollins with an insiguri and a blackout. I'm assuming that's his um, stomp for the three count. Uh, after the match, Corbin hits Rollins in the back with a steel chair because Rollins turns his back. Corbin hits Rollins again in the back. Corbin brings Rollins in three. End of days on Rollins. Corbin demands a title bat and he hand- holds it over his head as we go to credit. The uh, match was alright. Usual good stuff. More of these two guys, you wouldn't expect it. Three, three point two five out of 5. Ending segment, alright. 6 out of 10. Overall, it was not a bad Monday Night Raw. Definitely better than what we've been reduced to over the last few weeks. This one was at least watchable. Thank God. But yeah, I do hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know what format you want to see this in. I've done this as a pre-recorded. Let me know whether you like pre-recorded, uh, non-face cam or face cam. So do you want this with face cam or not? Let me know. Thank you all for watching this, and I shall catch you all later. Bye.